Hi, welcome. In this video, we'll discuss an interesting connection between concave and convex function. Here is a connection that f is a concave function if and only if minus f is a convex function. Let us see this in graph. As we can see that this red graph represent a concave function. If we plot minus f, then this is how it's going to look. So this blue graph appears to be a convex function. It turns out that this result holds for every f. Whenever f is a concave function, minus f will be a convex function. And whenever minus f is a convex function, f will be a concave function. Let us prove this. So f is a concave function. This tells us that for every x x prime and every lambda, the following inequality holds. That f of lambda x plus 1 minus lambda x prime is greater than or equal to lambda fx plus 1 minus lambda fx prime. Now we want to show that minus f is a convex function. So we'll multiply both sides by negative 1 to get this inequality. That minus f lambda x plus minus lambda x prime is less than or equal to minus lambda fx plus 1 minus lambda fx prime. Notice that the inequality sign flips. Earlier it was greater than or equal to, now it's less than or equal to because we multiplied both sides by negative 1. This can be rewritten as minus f lambda x plus minus lambda x prime is less than or equal to lambda times minus fx plus 1 minus lambda minus fx prime, which is precisely the convexity of minus f. And the implication also holds in the reverse direction. So we have shown that f is concave if and only if minus f is a convex function. There are certain important properties of convex functions. Let us now discuss those. As was the case with concave functions, the sum theorem also holds for convex functions. Sum of any two convex functions is a convex function. So if you recall min theorem was true for concave functions, so min of two concave functions was concave. In, in case of convex function, we have a max theorem which tells us that max of two convex functions is convex. We also have a transformation theorem for convex functions. So any increasing convex transformation of a convex function is convex. And finally, f is convex if and only if the set of points lying above its graph is a convex set. The proofs of all these theorems is identical to the results that we have already proved in case of concave functions. Thank you.